Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. One of Battlefield 5's big features is the ability to build fortifications. But unless you're playing as a support, you're missing out on some game-changing stuff. The support class in Battlefield 5 can build special fortifications, including anti-tank guns and heavy machine guns. While the effectiveness of HMGs is debatable, an AT gun can rip through enemy armor. Combined with other fortifications like hedgehogs, a well-trained support soldier can halt an enemy's push for a flag. For this video, I'll be focusing on the best buildable fortifications in Battlefield 5. Many of these are hidden gems, weapons you wouldn't know you can build unless you specifically look for them. Even then, there are several secret fortifications that don't appear unless you build the fortifications around them. This isn't meant to be an exhaustive video on fortification locations, so make sure to share your personal favorites in the comments section. Here, I'm only looking at Battlefield 5's Conquest game mode. Again, if you want to build these, you need to play as a support. And, well, why wouldn't you? Support players can construct fortifications significantly faster than the other classes in Battlefield 5. So, let's start with Devastation. Both sides can build AT guns close to their spawns on this map. If you've ever fortified Alpha as a German support player, you're probably familiar with the AT gun that can be built near the flag and fire on the opening into the cathedral on Charlie. But you might not know there's another AT gun on the opposite side of the map, and it has a much more commanding view of the street running between Bravo and Charlie flags. It's tucked away a bit from Edward, so most players fortifying that point don't know the best emplacement on the map actually lends itself to the British. Build the hedgehogs down the street here and you're pretty much guaranteed to stop a tank dead in its tracks. You might want to keep an eye on your right flank, however. For Fiel 652, there are a few useful fortifications that can be built, and the AA guns are by far the most notable. You'll find the most useful ones on the ridge overlooking Edward, on the north side of Charlie, and there's yet another one located north of Alpha. Anti-aircraft guns are useful against enemy air threats, but they can also be turned against infantry, particularly on Edward. There are also several heavy machine guns on Fjell that are worth your time, and those guard Edward and Alpha. If you're a seasoned support, you probably discovered the snowman on Edward as well. And while these fortifications are quite out in the open, the anti-tank guns on Twisted Steel are perhaps the best example of secret fortifications in Battlefield 5. So, you can build a ton of AT guns on Twisted Steel, but the catch is that most of the time you need to build the platforms for them first. Without these seemingly dull platforms, you won't have any visual feedback that a cannon can be constructed right before your eyes. On the north side of the map near Delta, you can construct AT guns at these four locations after you build the wooden platforms. A couple of excellent fields of fire on the bridge objectives, and it's difficult for recon players to pick you off at this range. If your vision is obscured by a tree, remember you're playing Battlefield and destroy it for a more lethal view. You can also construct a fortified position and AT guns near Charlie, but make sure you only construct the AT gun that will directly benefit your team. There are yet three other AT guns that can be constructed on Twisted Steel. You'll find them at Fox, George, and Alpha. On Rotterdam, things are decidedly more infantry focused. Heavy machine guns can be built at locations at each end of the elevated railway, and another can be built in the middle, overlooking the space between Bravo and Delta. Just make sure to build the sandbags here to protect your flanks. You can also build fortifications to funnel enemy armor. Hedgehogs can be constructed between B and D as well. Just leave an opening in the defenses and throw down some AT mines for maximum effectiveness. There are also two more useful but exposed HMGs located either side of the canal on the north side of the map. For Panzerstorm, the destroyed AT guns east of Delta may look like innocent set pieces until you realize you can rebuild all of them. This causes major problems for the German team, but there are a couple of AT guns that can be constructed to the west that can also hamstring the British. There's also a well-placed AT gun south of Edward that can fire on advancing British troops. 
Meanwhile, on Aerodrome, there's a lonely AT gun that can be built north of Delta. It's not the best location for one, but British tankers seem to love pushing Objective Fox from Bravo, and the AT gun is lethal against the more obnoxious edge-of-map snipers. For Narvik, the British can construct a well-placed anti-aircraft gun atop a storage tank between Alpha and Bravo. This can be used to wreak havoc on Objective Charlie, as well as down enemy aircraft. The position is vulnerable to sniper fire, so take the time to build the nearby sandbags. Meanwhile, the Germans can build an AT gun southeast of Fox. This anti-tank gun has a good view of Delta and can be used to help your teammates push the objective. It's technically out of bounds for the British, so it's not exactly the worst emplacement. Although this video is about buildable fortifications, there is a pre-built AT gun on the nearby Mole, which everyone seems to forget about. Narvik is also home to a snowman, which can be built near the Yellow House, northeast of Alpha. On Arras, there are two extremely valuable AT guns. The first favors the British and is located overlooking Alpha. This gun can be built along with hedgehogs and earthworks and is the perfect position for pouring fire into the mill and bridge. The second and better of the two, in my opinion, is located southeast of Charlie. It's an excellent position for the Germans to defend Charlie and has a relatively unobstructed field of fire against enemies attacking from Fox. You can also construct another AT gun east of Edward, but this one has a limited field of fire and is only useful if the enemy attacks from Charlie. Lastly, unfortunately, there isn't much to write home about for fortifications on Hamada. You can basically cut off Charlie from vehicles by building hedgehogs, but that's about it. Fun fact though, in early builds of Hamada, you could build sandcastles, but that fortification was sadly scrapped in the game's full release. So, which of these buildable fortifications are your favorite? And is there one I didn't talk about? Tell me down below in the comments. One last quick thing to mention, the channel is now sponsored by Blue Microphones. This means I'll be doing frequent giveaways, so keep an eye on my social media in the video description for an opportunity to win some microphones and some accessories. If you happen to be in the market for a microphone, you can use the code FLACFIRE at bluedesigns.com, save 20% and support the channel all at the same time. As always, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to make sure you stay up to date on the latest Battlefield news. Thanks for watching.